Hello and good day. Um, it's Dr. Klumber and it's uh, Transport Fever 2 episode number 11. It's getting late at night. This is going to be the last episode that we record uh, in this stretch, but it's not the last episode of this particular Let's Play because frankly, I'm having too much fun to stop playing. Mm. Yes, so hello, 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 people. We are back. And, um, well, let's begin with the uh, rather obvious, I don't know why the camera went there, um, the rather obvious uh, problem that I had uh, when I built this line to Roumont and wanted it to be multifunctional. I don't know what I did last time I got it to work, um, having a, a combined goods and passenger train, but this time it really did not like it at all. So instead we've now got the goods train and the uh, Ruhr Runner, which is a passenger uh, red arrow which is running up and down, has priority over the uh, goods train which is now quite literally, mm, just get it there, quite literally just dragging uh, goods from uh, the hub to Heerlen back to the hub to Roermond. Uh, don't, don't get me started, it was a, an episode. Um, but yes, we have fixed the issues and we updated a few trains and we're loaded. We are ridiculously rich. I, I, I genuinely, this is the first time I'm playing this game where I think, hmm, okay, this, this is pretty easy mode and it's just the way it is. And yeah, I can't complain. So, one of the things I've just spotted, this might be a quick household thing, is that this is a lot of oil. I could double up this oil delivery train. Is there any point in doing that? I can do two things. One, I can double it up. Two, I can shorten the line and actually add another train. And I think I will do that. So, Za Chem Supply, you're not going all the way up and down the world. You are literally going to be between Weird West and... Oh, it has to go up and down the world anyway. Yeah. I was going to drop it off here and then do another train do that. Ah, that doesn't really make sense. Adding another train is going to cause problems. The good news is, it's got a ginormous engine. Uh, in the crocodile and I am fairly sure that we could quite happily chuck on two three one two three four five one two three four five is where we started I think no we started 12 I'm 14 15 16 18 19 20 I think it's still good look at that I think these stations are long enough in fact, we can just eyeball it because it's here. Modify. Let's have a look. It's going to just keep pooping out new wagons at the back end there. And hopefully it'll stop just before it comes to the end of the station. Yes, okay. Manage vehicle. And edit. I think we add another five. Still good, fine, excellent. What a monstrous long train. I love it. You know what would make it even better? What would make it even better is if you fill that up, that's step one. And if, because you're dirty, you are grimy, you are delivering oil, so you're gonna get a grimy color. Oh, bliss. Beautiful, excellent, really good, very happy. Out exciting, outstanding, it's so good. Um, anyway, we are awash with cash, and there's a number of things we can do this episode. But I am thinking out of the box here, so I could just keep adding little lines to the uh, main what's it and create you know a bit more here and a bit more there. Or I can go big and build an airline. <laughs> I like that idea. I do like that idea. What I don't want to do though is build it next to a city. 
I have found that that is not beneficial. So I am looking at this triangle here. I am looking at this land here. I go, yeah, do you see where I'm going? We might well build an airport in the middle of this lot and connect it up with trains. Get people flying in and out of what we will call uh, Schiphol. I know, original. I had to think about it for ages, but we're going to build Schiphol. And then we also needed to plop into this lot. And we're going to do a very similar thing here. But instead of connecting it to uh, in the middle, which is an option, but I don't know where, because this hill is really in the way. I would love to build an airport here and then just connect that with passengers, but I, I don't know. That's a lot of work. No passenger train from here with that sand stuff. Let's see what happens. In this episode, I'm going to focus on building the first step, which is Schiphol. And then in the next episode, we'll worry about where it's going to fly to. Yeah, that seems like an excellent idea. We're awash with cash. Um, these airports are not cheap to build, by the way. In fact, they are really rather expensive. I can only build a little one, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice if it popped the big airfield, but I think that's 1950. So that might not happen yet. But we are going to build an airport with plenty of room to expand. Uh, Rotterdam, Den Haag. Rotterdam, listen to me. Rotterdam! We're going to build it here. Boom. Done. And it's going to be passenger airport to begin with. So what we need more than anything else at that point is to connect it to a station. So we can build a little road. And the only way you're going to get to this airport is by rail. You people are damn out of luck if you want to get here any other way. So that is one that builds the connection. Um, could I have built just a real station? I, don't, I haven't even thought about that. I might have been able to, actually, the more I think about it. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Not even give the AI an opportunity to think it can connect here. We build a train station. Oh! <laughs> now, do I want it to be a little train station? Or a large train station? It's going to be a bit of fiddling, but I want to build a train station with a large depot. A uh, large, whatever you call these things. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm going to pause so that I can get my money back if it all goes wrong. Configure. Delete. 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 Passenger building. Massive. Oh, I misjudged that by a mile. Uh, but I could add... Spending money. Spending money. But I could add another row of platforms like that and then <laughs> yes you are a godlike genius oh thank you i don't never normally call myself that because normally i screw up this part of the game enormously so this is going to be what i would call a passenger hub instead of a cargo hub um, it's going to connect Rotterdam, Den Haag and Ede. Um, I thought I said something else when I started this. Well, I might be wrong. Well, anyway. Um, it's going to connect Rotterdam, Den Haag and Ede to an airport. And that airport is then going to connect everything to everywhere else. Yes, I like it a lot. Ede looks like it's got a perfect spot for the station. So we're going to abuse the heck out of that. Uh, one, one. We're going to worry about expanding it later on. I need to do my round the microphone, touching M's and N's, and shift keys. One building. Let's make it one. Let's not be terrible there. And then, then how hard have you got any opportunities? Talk to me. Yes, you do. Delete the tree. I feel guilty now. 
not so much about the house that I deleted as well boop, 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 boop. I think that's pretty straight yeah good connect excellent and then Rotterdam I have a feeling Rotterdam is gonna want to grow quite a lot uh, I can connect most of the houses. Uh, even better, maybe here. Yeah, that's a nice spot there. I like that. So we're going to encourage Rotterdam to grow this way um, and around the station. So that is the plan here. I don't need to kill that yet. I'll do it like that. Ah, good. Excellent, excellent. We are cooking on the proverbial gas. So we want this all to run to the half. Uh, why is this called in half? You're not going to be called in half. You are going to be called Schiphol. Yes. And in reality, Schiphol is between Rotterdam and Amsterdam. So we might even rename Ede to Amsterdam and be really snooty. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, right, so we have the basics. Now we need to connect it all up. We're going to run just one train. Yeah, we're going to use the red arrow, the rotep file, and connect everything in single lines, I think. So we need to build this here. And here. Go around the tools factory yeah perfect look at that excellent and then in and we're going to use quite a lot of these four tracks because we've got them so i might as well probably want to change my mind about that later on but that's not a major issue we're going to come out of this one here go through here and then around here uh, let's start in Ada because this is that steel factory right in the way. It won't be for long, it'll be snooped up. Snooped up! Mm -hmm. Opgesnooped, that's a Dutchism. Uh, it'll be gesnaffled up in the process of creating cargo capacity here as well. But that's for the future, that's not going to happen now. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Why do we need a tunnel yes it looks legit to be honest good so that is two stations and then the final one is then half I should have taken on the break my chair is becoming very uncomfortable uh, one of the problems with working from home all day is that you're in the same chair all day and then if your hobby is making YouTube videos or playing computer games it gets even worse right I need to invest in a proper chair, I think. A Herman Miller is what I'm after. Um, anyway, enough rambling. We have a three lines connected to Schiphol. Excellent. What we need now, of course, is a depot. So... If we run a very cheeky... Like that. There's no point in not connecting. We'll do that. And then, uh, can we fit in an X here? Yeah. Look at that. We can't do another one. So that sort of determines that the uh, depot needs to be... Well, I don't know. Actually, I've not thought about it. Well, we're going to build it here. Just like that. I think we can connect everything up there. Right, good. What do you mean it's not possible? Of course it's possible. I have designed it. It must be possible. Right, excellent. So we now have a new part of the map and a starting point. And quite an interesting starting point, I think. So we need some uh, red arrow trains to run from. We're just going to call these Schiphol 1, 2, and no. Uh. 
Oh, actually, I load the mods for next time. Load my Dutch trains. I might do. Right, skip all that. Dumb. And skip all Den Haag. I could use the abbreviations, but we'll, we'll do it like that. And then we want uh, Schip Hall and Ede. Boom! Excellent. And then we want to put red arrows on. And then hopefully, because this is all linking in Schip Hall, we will see that they will transfer from city to city using Schip Hall uh, as a transfer point. And we will be able to carry a bunch of passengers. Ah yes, isn't this exciting? It is very exciting. I'm just going to start with three, not going to overcomplicate it. Buy for nil. Okay, didn't click the button. You go to Rotterdam, you go to Den Haag, and you go to Aden. Excellent. Good! Well, that's, that's an unexpected uh, twist to this game. You didn't think that was going to happen. So, we have an airport. Uh, uh, uh. And we can connect the airport. Uh, it's not bad. Then have East, thank you. Skip Hall Airport. Now, one of the things I find intriguing, and I don't know if you've ever noticed this, you might not have been to Skip Hall, but the railway station Skip Hall is basically two platforms, I think. And there's so many connections, it's amazing. Uh, but I'm, I'm not a godlike team, so I'm not even going to attempt to build that. Right, how much does a plane cost? This will decide what we do next. A Douglas, it's beautiful. What? This looks like a little balloon. Is that a real plane? It must be. British transport is also used for transport of troops. 22 to 60, wow. But it's got to be a Douglas. And actually it's very affordable, 2 million, okay. So we need to build the airport over here. Now it makes sense to me to build it close to Deventer. Because um, we could add Os and Nijmegen and all that into a transport hub. And Deventer has a nice flat ball. And it's the best connected city in terms of everything. So Deventer it is, so we're going to look at here. Now, the issue with Deventer really is that it's um, not well endowed in lines, but that's fine. We're going to utilize this opportunity here. And then, yeah, okay. So all we need really is to build a... Oh, not a... We can go for a city. One of these out of the way like that yeah yeah okay and then we need to build a station uh, we are going to make it a true one but only with one track so this is going to be quite a simple jobby connecting David to, to the airport and that's all it needs to do like that look at the height difference I thought I was looking at a nice flat part of the map that was silly, wasn't it? Okay, and then... Yeah. And then... Uh, is there any the other line? It, oh, oh, that's a golden opportunity. Yes, it is. Right, so we need to take this bit down. And then add... This to that. Boom. And then we need to find a way to get the... Uh, it's definitely going to moan at me if I don't build this so I'm going to do that it's not pretty again but it's the way it is one day I will work out a way to make pretty connections with depots a thing but at the moment this will this soup will have to do Right, so I'm going to build the railway line first. We're going to call this the Deventer Airport. Yeah, we are going to call this the Deventer Airport. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, new line. No, that one. That one. That. Yes. Okay, the uh, Deventer 
transfer. Save the transfer. That works. Okay. And then, and actually that's the Dutch name as well. Transfer works in the Netherlands as well. So that's good. Um, by train. By. By. Even to transfer. Good. Auto save. Tiny. Excellent. Look at this. We've even got enough money. Planned it. I didn't. Um, to build a... Oh, I was thinking I need to change the name there, of course, but yeah, get to that. To buy a plane between Team True East, which it won't be called for much longer, and Schiphol's. Yeah, it works. A uh, plane. Nobody's gonna believe it. Done it, boys. We're going into space. In one of the most beautiful planes ever built, the DC. DC4, DC3, DC7. It's a DC. Good! Let's observe this beauty. I genuinely believe this is one of the prettiest game, uh, planes in the game. It is a. Managed vehicle. I want to know now. Yeah, it's a DC3. I don't know why that was difficult. We're going to paint it. Paint it green. Yes. Put it on the green line. Look at it. Oh, gorgeous. What a beauty. Dakota, is what I call it. I think it's a Dakota. Anyway, look at the shimmery, shiny beauty that it is. We're going to fly along. Why not? On the maiden journey of the Dakota. Uh, I don't want this part actually, we're going to fly along. Yeah, we do. Oop. Put that there so you can see the details. So, let's see, let's see this beauty in the sky. This is where the game just gets perfect in my opinion. It is such a wonderful experience. Building a plane, an airport, and putting all the linking together. And I've got this as a reward. Off it goes. Unnatural turn. Commence. Actually, no, I don't think it does that in this game. It did it in Transport for Evil 1, which is sort of evil. It's, it's following a reasonably natural, realistic path here. Um, not that I'm a pilot, uh, but it, it's good. Doing almost 100 kilometers an hour, but I think when it comes out of the turn, it'll speed up a bit to whatever speed it is that it has to do and then we will have a look I'm going to speed it up slightly because this is quite a distance it is coughing here oh look at that station as well I'm going to fill that out off camera yes we are in the air and we are flying a long way away from anything when you look around here you just see potential you don't see anything else oh yes Good, 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 good. Still gonna go too slow. Up, speed it up, speed it up a bit. 150, 70, 200, 300, 330 kilometers an hour is its top speed by the looks of things. Going straight through this beautiful country that we call the Netherlands. Um, plus, because it's got hit. Oh, it's already at the airport, look at that. Look at that approach. It's slowing down a lot because it has to. And of course, some idiot designed the airport to be on a wonky uh, potato field rather than a nice flat stretch. But this plane can cope with everything. Um, I hope it's going to make a. This is going to be an unnatural turn if it goes straight in. Yeah, that's definitely not what it would normally do. But hey, we're not too critical. Look at that tree. Oh, clipped it. There we go. Excellent. It has landed. Touchdown. Good. My first plane connection is a fact. That tree is going. That tree is going. Um, yeah, exciting times. We don't have any passengers. We've got passengers. Um, six passengers. If it gets there before 
Will the passengers run to this plane? Hmm. Well, they might do. Will they get there in time? They need to hurry. Don't think they're going to make it. No. No, look at them running. Oh, they've missed it. Oh. Sorry, you'll have to wait for the next plane. Yeah, there is nothing we can do. So, we have built something exciting for this new episode. We are using our ample provision of cash uh, to build inefficient new projects. One of the things I want to look at is the emissions map. Ah, look, see, we've built it out of town, so it's not affecting David too much. I could have been tempted to build it on top of the station itself and prevent having a little line there. No, 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 we've been quite smart about it. And actually, one of my goals for this game was to manage emissions quite carefully. And I think we are doing. I think we can genuinely claim... Look at Hilfsen not having any emissions because it's hardly served. Um, we can genuinely claim that we're doing a good job on that, I think. Average current. And that's literally just the train. Okay. Interesting. Anyway, um, I'm going to call that an episode. We have uh, exploited new land. We have built a new super duper passenger boat. And this is going to grow. I think this will just get better and better and better. Oh, now it gives me the Douglas C-49 Skytrain. Actually, that's a cargo plane, I think. I'm going to double check that. I don't want to feel annoyed about it, because this is another really pretty plane. All cargo. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Let's see how long it is. 26 minutes, that's absolutely fine. You get value for money with this YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Klumber, and I'm, I've just realized that I look like I'm on fire because of my bad lighting. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. My studio is nowhere near where it should be because we're waiting to move. And we've not moved yet, so hopefully we will do uh, soon. We will see. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye.